need more space and want to move to a bigger drive without reinstalling your Ubuntu OS, it's actually pretty simple. It takes about half an hour, depending on the size of disk. Hey, I'm Matt Walton the Crazy Logic. So I'm out of space, I'm not really surprised. These are my two old SSDs, uh, 120 gig each. One's for the OS, one was for VMs, and then I had a one terabyte spinning rust, which I've also still got in my machine for stuff I don't really care about. Um, and I wanted to move everything from my old SSD to my new SSD without losing any data and more specifically without reinstalling the OS. It goes without saying that moving data between disks is a little bit risky due to corruption error or just human error or config error. So have a backup and then try this in a VM first if you're not comfortable and familiar with what's going to happen. So let's say you're like me and you've chosen to encrypt your disk as part of Ubuntu's install process. The rest of the video is based on that assumption. So you have a disk and on that disk you have primary and then extended partitions. In an extended partition you have an encrypted container, the Lux or Linux Unified Key Setup container. Uh, within that you have a physical volume or LVM called a PV. PVs can join up to make what's called a volume group or a VG. And within a volume group you have logical volumes or LVs and within an LV you have your file systems. So if you want to investigate this a little bit further, you need some commands. PVS, VGS, and LVS, which is physical volume, volume group, and logical volume show. So that's seven layers that need to be updated or modified correctly to make this work. So you can see why people just reinstall the OS and copy their files over. So let's go. Here I'm using a VM with a 10 gig drive, and I'm gonna to move to a 20 gig drive. If you can't translate from the VM to physical actions, then the risks are probably too great for you to continue. After booting, I've created a file on the desktop to represent my data. So let's quickly fire up the disk GUI and have a look at the disks. So you can see there's a number of partitions and then an extended partition containing a loot container and then an LVM2 partition within that. You can also see the disk is pretty full. After all, 10 gig is not really a lot for an OS. So at this point, I'm gonna add my second drive. In a VM, it's just a case of adding a file, but in real life, you connect up your SATA or NVMe then I'm going to load the Ubuntu installer ISO into the disk drive and boot to the installer. But I'm going to click on Try Ubuntu to get to a live version of the OS. The first thing to do is have a look in Disk GUI. You'll see the old drive appears a little bit differently and then the new drive alongside it. Make a mental note of the device names, which are something like slash dev slash SDA. We can double check these with terminal using sudo fdisk and I'll put a command down below or lsblk. It's super important to know which drive is which. Get this wrong and you'll lose your data. So let's do a block copy from one disk to the other. Make sure you fully understand this command before running it. dd is a powerful command and quite rightly it's called disk destroyer for when it's used wrongly. The if and the of are the input and output files. In Linux drives are files. Everything is a file within Linux. Make sure you get the right dev sda b c d etc and you get them the right way around otherwise you're going to overwrite your data with crap the status equals progress is to give you some feedback on where it is within the copy and the bs equals 4m is the block size to copy it's not related to the block size on the disk bs equals 4m is a happy number change it if you know what you're doing or you know it's better for your setup once done you'll see the second disk now looks like the first except it has some space at the end of it Power off and remove the old disk, and you're good to carry on. But that new space, you might want to use it. If you reboot at this point, you'll be using the new disk, but not the additional space. If you want to expand into the additional space, reboot with the installer disk and exit out into live OS as before. Load up the disk GUI and identify the device path, which will most likely be slash dev slash SDA, and then open a terminal. Run sudo parted slash dev slash SDA print with your device ID, obviously. This will ID your partitions. If it asks you to fix or ignore, hit F and continue. Look for the number of the partition you want to expand. It's probably going to be four or the last one. Then run sudo parted slash dev slash SDA space resize part space four or the number of your partition space 100 and then percent sign. Running sudo parted slash dev slash SDA print again will now show you a bigger partition for the one in question. If you go back into the disk GUI, it should show you similar. Next, we need to open the encrypted container to work with it. Do a sudo crypt setup luke's open slash dev slash sda4 space vgubuntu. The sda4 you might need to change for your setup, and the vgubuntu is something that you assign to ID the container. Once you've got the container open, additional disks will show up within the disk GUI. One for root and one for swap. 
Quickly run a sudo space pvs to show the physical volumes on the OS's. Note at this point it has not been expanded. The next step is to expand the crypt container we opened. So run sudo crypt setup resize vg ubuntu or whatever you happen to call it. Run a sudo pvs again to see it still hasn't actually expanded the physical volumes, but note down the pv location which will be something like slash dev slash mapper slash vg ubuntu. So to expand the pv, run sudo pv resize space slash dev slash mapper slash vg ubuntu or whatever you called it. Then do a sudo pvs again and now you should see that the pv has been expanded. Next run a sudo vgs and we can see the volume groups. Note down the free space is visible. Then do a sudo lvs to show the logical volumes. Note down the name of the logical volume that you wish to expand. For me it's root. So to expand the logical volume do an sudo lv resize space dash l space plus 100% sign free in capital letters space slash dev slash vg ubuntu slash root. Then a sudo lvs to ensure it's expanded. Once it has, run e2fsck space dash f space slash dev slash mapper slash vg ubuntu dash root. Yes, in mapper, it's volume group name dash logical volume name, not a slash. And when that's done, run resize number two fs slash dev slash mapper slash vg ubuntu dash root. Note that the disks in the GUI have now changed size. Reboot and you're done. You're good to go and you can repurpose the old SSD. So all in all, this was a bit of a challenge to find the right commands and the right order they need to be running. Um, hence this video for anyone who may have the same problems as I did. If it goes wrong after the DDE point, you can sort of recover because you can reclone your, your drive again using DDE from your original drive. Uh, however, if you screw up your DD point, now you know why it's called Disk Destroyer. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. If it has, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. Um, any comments, put them down in the comment section. <laughs> Handy. And uh, subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.